Okay, so today we're going to show you Kellenberger Model 1000U. It's a universal uh, IDOD grinder. It has approximately 20 inches of swing um, and uh, it's currently wired for 400 volts. Uh, it's a strange voltage, but uh, it's 400 volts and uh, there are transformers available for that. Uh, other than that, uh, you see we're going back and forth here. We've got uh, some leveling pads. It takes three leveling pads, one on each front corner and one in the rear. This is the, height, the, the coolant system. It goes around the back of the machine. And uh, there's also a hydraulic system separate that gets attached to it, a lubricating system, and your electrical control cabinet. And most of the things are just connected with plugs. Uh, like the plugs we have on here. Everything is labeled and goes into the side of the cabinet. Now this has a paper band as well as a magnetic separator. Uh, you've got a float switch in here. Once the level of water reaches a certain level, this will start to turn to clean out the metal filings or shavings or whatever you have and deposit them all in this uh, thing to dump it out with. You also have a paper band uh, filter that will continue to f travel down and dump the dirty paper in this pan here uh, whenever this float switch is uh, called upon to advance the paper and that happens when you start to build up a lot of dirt on the paper and you get a little ponding in there and the water reaches the switch and it makes the whole thing go. Now all the electrics are mounted up here in a watertight uh, little cabinet and it's all pretty nice. So what we got right now is the machine going back and forth in the uh, feeding in on the left side and the right side mode. If you watch this uh, hand wheel for a second there, you'll see that it makes a little move at each reversal. When I retract the head the wheel slide, the hand wheel, whatever amount of infeed had been at, come at that point, uh, it gets retracted back to the beginning. So we'll bring this in again. St also starts your work head moving. Your table is controlled by this knob here. You have a selector knob over here uh, to select different cycles or different grinding modes. Right now we're in the, uh, the traverse, but if I wanted just to do a plunge, you would shut your table off and come over here to the plunge mode and then you see our hand wheel is just traveling down at a faster rate of speed and that speed is controlled by this knob over here you can make that faster or slower and when it gets down to the zero I'm just going kind of fast there. okay so it hits a, a fine feed spot and now we start to go out a finer feed, which is adjustable with this control knob here. Well, once it gets on the zero, it's going to do a certain amount of uh, sparking out, and then everything kicks out on its own. Uh, you have a hand mode where you can move this hand wheel by hand. I'm going to bring it a little bit closer to zero. Okay, so there's a plunge, the fine feed down to zero and then spark out. Uh, your controls, you have over here you also have two knobs to control a dwell or a tarry on, on each side. You've got your table speed, you've got your selector or your mode selector and mounted on top is your actual uh, in feed amount or speed or, or whatever you want to call that. Uh, over here you've got another uh, selector switch whether you want to uh, in the ID grinding mode you need to set this machine up in the ID grinding mode uh, in order to keep the wheel slide from retracting at the end of a cycle so it's important that when you're doing ID grinding that you switch this over to the internal mode. See that immediately brought that slide forward uh, to its dead stop and it won't go back again. Now if I do a grinding cycle again
start this in feed. When it gets down to zero and the spark out time is up, the hand wheel or the amount you fed will retract, will back up, but the wheel slide will stay there. That's as long as you're in the eye or the internal grinding mode. In the hand feed mode, they want you to use this lever by hand, like it, mean, like it says, to bring that slide forward and back. Most people just keep it in automatic if they're not doing any ID grinding. So that when you start the cycle, the work kit comes on, and this comes forward, and this cooling system would come on. The cooling system comes on with the grinding wheel. Okay, so you have mounted on your workhead a uh, sign bar. This workhead swivels uh, when you pull the pin out up top here. I have everything kind of loose. And then you can swivel. Normally you're going to go this way. Uh, this pin locks it in at zero. And when you're at zero, you would want to screw it down until if you, f you felt it get tight. Uh, and that's, that's locked down at the actual zero position. If you're not going to be on zero, then you want to keep this thing loose so you can move it around. Also, the wheel slide uh, rotates. You want to be careful. You don't hit anything. We'll bring this around. And it will lock in to specific points when you have the wheel uh, for ID grinding or OD grinding. It will lock into specific points. Uh, I don't have it uh, right now so that it drops in. I'd have to let, let go of the spring uh, pin that's being held up right now so that it could drop in. So now when we start up our grinding wheel, we're going to start that ID spindle. Now this is lubricated by a, an, uh, an air mist, oil mist uh, system mounted on the side of the electrical cabinet and will run continuously with the OD wheel unless you remove the belt. Most people will take the belt off when they're not ID grinding and only put the belt on when they are. Unless you're doing a part where you where in one chucking it requires OD grinding and ID grinding. Then, I, then you would keep everything together. So that's the showing in the ID mode. Uh, you certainly want to be careful about your table. But now we can start our workhead. See now, if I was really going to be ID grinding, I would have wanted to bring that into the eye so that it would not move in and out when I work this lever. Now this infeed has a a fast uh, ratio to position the slide where you want it. Then you put it back into your normal. You also have the same uh, system with your table. You have a, a coarse ratio and a very fine ratio. Um, I think I've gone over most of the stuff. Uh, this is a variable speed, obviously, this workhead. You have a Heidenheim, a digital readout on the axis of the, the cross slide going back and forth, as well as the table uh, going left and right. It's a nice machine. It's wired. Uh, again, I said for 400 volts, that's really not an issue. Um, I don't know what else to say. That's the Kellenberger 1000U. Thank you.